السلام عليكم سيدي وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله Thank you for the beautiful teaching, Sayyidi. Um, please forgive me for my lack of adab. Can you please explain if there's a connection between Marifa, Arif, and Arifa? Marifa, Arifa, yeah, of course. Yeah. Ma'arif, one to know. Marifa, the way of knowing, and Arif, one who knows. So Allah is giving us uh, immense realities in all of it. And the meme is for the Muhammadan knowledge. To know what? Accounting? No, but Allah wants us to be knowledgeable of the Muhammadan haqqaiq. Every secret is in this meme. Baina ahadu Ahmad is the reality of meme. Between the reality of Allah's uniqueness that nothing like unto Allah of Ahad is the reality of Ahmad. Because it's an ahad, but Allah added a meem for Muhammad. So it means that the hurufs are a different set of knowledges. That when Allah want to grant sainthood to a servant, begin to open their heart for ilmu huruf. So that the kalam and the words can begin to speak to their heart. An angel is attached to every letter and the angel will enter into the heart, a nautic, they begin to speak to the servant. So the heart that is subtle is like a dish and these letters of eternity are dressed and guarded by malaika. And as this letter is coming into their heart is nautic, it's speaking. And if the heart is subtle to pick the frequency and it understood how to meditate and contemplate and connect with the shaykhs, what happens? Your receptor every time is reading, the letters are speaking to them and, and dressing and giving more understanding. But it's like somebody talking but you're not listening so you don't understand what happened. The one whom is meditating, they have high sensory perception because they're, they're waiting for something. So when they meditate they're continuously sort of trying to perceive a reality and as a result their, their soul's vibration is so subtle that the huruf comes and begins to expand itself. So they read Ahmad and when they look at Ahmad the alif is coming and teaching something. The meme comes. And the uh, ha comes and begins to teach them. The mim comes and teaches them. The dal comes and teaches them. Means each of these huruf have an, a, a vibration and a reality and begin to dress the heart of the servant. But that only again through their contemplation and making their connection and slowing down. So even the knot, you recite the knot. You go back and read it and contemplate and say, these are immense realities being recited because these awliya were teaching this way. That recite this and the person is now being dressed in their soul, these realities until one day it flourishes like fruits. Well, they don't know where these realities came from but it came from all the recitations of Dalal al-Khirat, Qasida Burda, these Nat Sharif, these Salawats and Nasheeds. Where they live a life of planting seeds of reality within their soul and one day they start to bear the fruit of it and eat from the fruit and many can sit with them and eat from their fruit because the tree is just abundantly overflowing of its realities, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, what is the reality of the star of Solomon in, is in Islam? The star of Sulaiman is the, it's the star of Sayyidina Muhammad The owner of everything is Prophet Najm al-Dawood or Najm al-Sulaiman is a reality that Prophet gave to them to bring onto this earth as a protection. And that has to do with three points up, three points down and the king upon the center. And this has to do with the formation and 
stars coming into existence by this power. So the one whom understands it and studies it, all inshaAllah give a control and a command over it. That from the kingdom of Sayyidina Sulaiman its authority is Sayyidina Muhammad means the Muhammadan kingdom if Prophet give a knowledge to the servant of this najj and they understood it, they meditate upon it, then Prophet can empower that najj and empower that reality upon them. By means of that Sayyidina Sulaiman was empowering powers of the earth and empowering the powers of dunya, means he had the jinn and the malaika under his command. So this is under the authority and the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad And all of this dunya is trying to operate with this understanding, right? So the secret societies they think they've made a connection with the devils who understood this star and the devils are playing with them. Oh we're this waistband like a waiter, walk on these black and white steps, do these ridiculous gestures and <laughs> movements because shaitan has a sense of humor, right? It's because he hates humans. He said, look I'll make these fools wear this and do this and make their eye like this, make like this funny symbols and I'll pretend like I've opened something for them. You think Allah is operating like that? That He's going to make you wear a ridiculous skirt and do all these things? No, Allah's authority is be clean, meditate, contemplate, connect your heart with Sayyidina Muhammad So they go through rigorous security check by Allah that their character is good, their, their akhlaq is good. The najm on the top is for the power of their soul. That Allah opened three points on their top that have to do with La ilaha illallah. So that is an opening from their soul has to come. And then the three points that will block their lower reality, Muhammadan Rasulullah. And then people say, oh why well, Allah here? Because you need the power of Allah on your body to destroy your lower desires. So it's Allah's izzah and might, the law of Allah has to come to your lower point to block you from satanic whispers and satanic desires. If Allah grant the servant reality of La ilaha illallah and open the power of their soul and then Prophet grant from the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah to engage the nafs and shaitan then what happens? The two of them come together and open the reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah and then that star is now shining. And the king is on the center, he's at the seventh point right in the center. And that's why Prophet described, follow any of my companions, they are like stars on a dark night. Because he had granted them that reality, dressed them from that reality. And that's why 124,000 Sahabi Kiram are all awliya. And that they inherit from 124,000 Prophets of Allah And each Sahabi is like a Prophet of Bani Israel with the dress, the blessings and the azimat. And that's why Prophet described that, Warith al-Anbiya, that my ulama are Warith al-Anbiya of Bani Israel. Means that my Sahabi they're like Prophets all of them with what I've dressed them. And the awliya of the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad they're like Prophets on earth. But nothing is in comparison to Sayyidina Muhammad but they are inheriting that reality. And that's why Prophet was describing that these awliyaullah they're like stars because they're inheriting from the Sahabi these ilm and these knowledges and these characters but they can never reach to that maqam because that's not something even possible because they heard and they saw Prophet The rest are by inspiration so that station is something that's not achievable. The holy companions they're holy because they saw and witnessed the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and they heard the holy voice in all its presence and all its beauty inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al-mursaleen 
Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi Surat al-Fatiha. <coughs>